They're the Hollywood stars of Australian sport. AFL players live a privileged life of fame, glamour and big money. For their legion of adoring female fans, a chance to be part of that high-flying lifestyle can be very alluring. And that's how it was for 17-year-old Kim Duffy. But as Kim soon discovered, life in the footy fast lane can be cruel. When it was all over, she was left feeling betrayed and isolated. Tonight, for the first time, she tells how she declared war on the AFL and ignited one of the game's biggest scandals. For Kim Duffy, the last year has been one she and the AFL will never forget. A 17-year-old girl who stopped a powerful football code in its tracks. Obviously, I caused a lot of trouble over this past year, this early year. I guess it felt good to sort of, um, you know, be in control for once. Her feisty stance in a nude photo scandal and now sex allegations involving Ricky Nixon, an AFL player's agent, has put a blowtorch to the belly of the code's moral fibre. I don't think some of the things I've done have been good decisions, but I know that I'm a good person um, deep down inside. Um, there's, yeah, th I've made bad decisions, um, but just because you make bad decisions doesn't mean you're a bad person. She may be young, but Kim Duthie has proved to be no shrinking violet. Her response to what she believed was inexcusable treatment has been both swift and biting. Oh my God, I could f***ing scream! Ah! Kim's story is one that seems very familiar. A young girl out of her depth in the celebrity world of football, believing she's been used and abused. Hers is a cautionary tale. A tale where there are no winners, least of all, Kim Duffy. Kim grew up in the Melbourne working class suburb of Frankston. Were you always a footy fan? No, I actually hated the AFL. Um, I'd always tell my dad to turn it off when it was on the TV. Um, and I just thought it was really boring, same as the cricket. When did you decide you, you liked it? Um, I think uh, it's sort of, once you meet someone um, sort of famous or, um, you know, a sports person, I think you become more interested in it. When did that happen? When did you decide, oh, AFL looks all right? Um, I think when the boys first came to my school. Impressionable schoolgirl heads turned when St Kilda football players went to Kim's school. She was amongst the pupils who heard their motivational speech. Was it something they said that connected or did you just like the look of them? <laughs> um, I sort of had this stereotype of footballers that they were sort of dumb and only could play football. Um, but when after I heard them speak, um, yeah. Kim says there was no personal contact made with the football players that day. That would come a month later, when she handed out her number after a St Kilda football match in Sydney. Were you flattered by the attention? Yeah, I think it, uh, definitely. Uh, it felt, yeah, it felt really cool to, you know, be able to say an AFL player, you know, sort of thought that I was all right looking or wanted to hang out with me and, yeah. How old were you then? 16, yeah. D did you tell them you were 16? Uh, I originally told them that I was 19. And why um, did you do that? I think because I thought if they knew how old I was that they'd straight away be like, you know, you're a junior, we want nothing to do with you sort of thing. Um, yeah, so I just thought I had a better chance if I said I was over 18. Kim claims that night she had her first sexual encounter with a footballer. I guess as soon as I walked into that hotel room, I thought, oh no, this is bad, this, 
I don't know how I can sort of get out of this situation. Tell um, me why you didn't think you could get out of it. I didn't know what to do, really. I didn't know how to stand up to myself. I thought, well, he's going to sort of be, like, really angry if I, if I say I have to leave. Nonetheless, Kim says the sex was consensual. It would be her introduction to the world of AFL, and she'd soon make contact with St Kilda player Sam Gilbert. Would you call it a relationship? Um, that's sort of hard. I, well, we saw each other a lot. I, I was, I guess we were exclusive, but not boyfriend and girlfriend, if that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Um, because you knew that you weren't his girlfriend, or I just, I don't think I ever wanted to, you know, be embarrassed enough to ask. Um, you know, I was seeing him, uh, um, quite a bit, but. I sort of didn't want to be rejected and, yeah. Kim says she was trusted to be in Sam Gilbert's home alone. It was during one of those times, she says, that she accessed Gilbert's computer and downloaded nude shots involving St Kilda players, Nick Del Santo, Zach Dawson and Nick Rewall. Photos that would shock the football world when they became very public. How the photos came to be released started when in May last year, Kim claimed she was pregnant. She says Sam Gilbert, St Kilda Football Club and the AFL cut all contact. She says she felt hurt and isolated. It would be the catalyst for her next move, publishing the nude pictures on the internet. At no point in time have I had any association with the person that is responsible for obtaining my photograph and posting it on Facebook. What's driving you at this time to be so hateful and so vengeful? Um, I guess... It, yeah, the photo thing was power. I wouldn't call it revenge, but it was sort of, you know, I, I just want you guys to feel how I felt. Um, you said at the time that all you wanted was an apology. Is yeah. that, that's that, correct? That was, yeah, that was uh, all I sort of wanted. Um, apology for what? Just of how everything was just, you know, I'd never heard from anyone again. You've gone from being like this 16 year old girl who does nothing to um, hanging out with, you know, these high profile um, celebrities, like uh, sports stars. And when everything was over, it was like a jolt back into reality and I sort of just felt stranded. I felt like I was the one who was being blamed, you know, I was being made out to look like this girl who was a, you know, this big sort of um, skank, I don't know. I just felt like since then it just started to spiral downhill.